going on my beautiful people? Fernando David here and in this video we're going to be discussing the new Airbnb website and some of the changes that Airbnb did in terms of searches. Before I get into that, I just want you to do me a big favor. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Hit that like button and follow us on Instagram. So let's get into this video. I'm super excited about this video because although I've heard a lot of people complaining about the new search categories and it does uh, do the average, and I'm gonna say this again, it does make it a little bit, a little bit more difficult for the average host to be get noticed. And I know some of you have seen your occupancy rate dropped as a result of this new search category, but you gotta understand that Airbnb is a business. They've done their market research and one of the biggest marketing tools that they have is that they want to provide their guests with a unique experience, right? Hence why now when you go on the Airbnb website, and I encourage you, if you, because this, this is what blows my mind with some of you guys that are host. Some of you guys that have been on this, uh, doing this for, for a little bit, you've got some success. Because again, it's not that difficult to be a little bit successful in this business but you've gotten lazy and this world is constantly changing. You have to constantly stay up with what's going on, keep up with the trends, but, but this is a big one. And again, a lot of people have complained about it. I think it's a huge advantage for those of you that are truly professionals and those of you that, that really want to stand out from everyone else. So here's what the new category does, right? When you go on the website, and I'm on the website now, I highly encourage you to, if you're following on the video, get on there so you can see what I'm talking about. But when you're on the Airbnb website, you're going to see a list, of, a long list of categories. Airbnb has about 50 different categories in which you can list your property on or under, right? I'm gonna give you some tricks and hacks and I wrote some of these down, but I'm gonna, uh, 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 I need you to understand that there's a way to hack into the system so that you come out number one. Now, here's one thing you need to understand that's it's a complete change from stuff in the past. So if you follow my channel, you know a couple of years ago, uh, myself and a lot of experts in this industry highly encourage you to write not only a, a very good description, but your header, meaning what that description of the property is, your, your short version of that, to write something unique. In fact, I encourage, just like some other experts encourage that you put like little emojis on there, throw that out the window. It doesn't apply anymore because when you go on there, you can't see that. So when you click on the search, you're only going to see one picture. You're going to see the price. You're going to see the reviews. That's it, people. That's all, that's all you're going to see when you get on there. Now, again, there's different categories. How do you get on these categories? It's going to highly depend on how you write and list your property. There's a way to do it so you, you can come up on multiple categories. I'm gonna use a, one example, uh, and again, only because most of my properties are in South Florida and we're near the beach, so, and uh, some of my properties have pools. Whatever's unique about your property, that's what you wanna start off with. But let me continue with these pictures, and let me continue as to what a person searching for is going to see. Again, they're going to only see one picture, so it makes it even more important that your number one picture, your standout picture, is a high quality picture of your best amenity. And I'm gonna say this again, of your best amenity. Here's why that's important. Because amenities is what the Airbnb algorithm is looking for. That's how they're going to categorize you. So if your amenity or your number one feature for your property is the beach, that, that first picture, picture needs to be the beach, right? If you have a unique property like like a, like a tree house and you're offering that as it, then, then have a picture of that tree house. If you have a beautiful backyard and that's what your number one feature is, make sure that's your number one picture. And again, I've said this a million times, I'm not the only one that's, that have said this, 
Make sure that your pictures are high, high quality professional pictures. Don't use your freaking iPhone to, to take a picture of your property, right? Make sure they're professional pictures and put that up. Now, here's probably the biggest hack about this is on all your pictures, and I said this on other videos because some of you guys are freaking lazy. You need to write a description of each picture. Don't just write, you know, you have the picture, and let's say it's a picture of your dining room table. Don't just put on the caption, dining room table. You gotta write a description of not just the dining room table, but the experience of what's, what can happen within that dining room table. You have to be very descriptive because that is how this the Airbnb algorithm is going to pick up and that is your number one way to list higher on Airbnb. Let me, let me say that again because I need you to, to really capture the importance of this. Within this new category system, the best way to take advantage of this system is through your pictures. And within your pictures, you have the ability to write a caption. That caption needs to tell a story. And make sure that you put in key words within that story for the system to pick up. If you probably don't know this, Brian Chesky, the, the CEO of Airbnb, is traveling the world, he's staying in Airbnbs. And if you haven't noticed, uh, remote workers are a big part of this new travel industry, big, big part of the market. So what are the amenities that you must, I'm gonna say this again, what are the amenities that you must have is office space or at least a workstation. If you don't have it, you need to create it. But take a picture of your workstation or your office space and write that description as, as to what it is, what kind of table is in there, your Wi-Fi. You need to, there's actually a new section that tells you or allows you to put in the speed of your Wi-Fi. Make sure you're putting that all over your, your listing. Make sure it's in the description. Make sure you put the, your, uh, your pictures, take a picture of the Wi-Fi, your modem, uh, describe how fast that is. All of that stuff really matters in this new uh, search category for Airbnb. If you have any questions about this, do me a favor, DM me or ask in, in the message board. I don't wanna make this a, a long drawn out video, but understand that if you want to be listed or be featured as the number one property on the search item, you need to have unique features, unique amenities, and you need to have those uh, amenities well described within your description of your property. I love you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button share this video, follow us on Instagram, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I get a lot of viewers, but not a lot of subscribers. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.